It is Sunday night, ladies and gentlemen, and I am the Jamsa. With me is Brock Redhead. AEW presents Revolution. This is our WrestleMania, and the first match we have going on here is our Women's World Championship match. Tony Storm versus Hikaru Shida. But first things first, we got to talk about what's been happening. Go home show. We saw uh, a huge triple threat with Hook coming out on top. Hook is going to be in our number one uh, contender battle royale ladder match later tonight. But first things first, I want to have Brock tell me how he's doing and talk a little bit about what we saw earlier today. Well, as you guys know, SmackDown's WrestleMania was noon. Uh, and of course, no matter what big show happens, uh, Jericho is always Jerichoing because it had nothing to do with Jericho. This was a decision. Let's say, let's say that uh, Jamsaw and Jericho were mad that Logan Paul became world champion. No, no, no. We just that, saw this as the shenanigans that it was, and we called it out. Well, so I will put it out there for the people that did not see. Um, you know what, Brad? You know what, Brad? <laughs> you, know what? you know what? You know what? Monet cheated. Monet is SmackDown World Champion. Uh, go fuck yourself. Where do we go from here? Well, I mean, like, she is the world champ, which means that she'll be going on to Omni War Games to represent your show against me. But technically, if she wins, it'll still be a victory. Uh, against uh, whoever's going to win this match here tonight. Uh, either Sheeter or Tony Storm will walk out and go against Mercedes Monet and whomever uh, Raw and Ring of Honor is going to send into the Omni War Games for that uh, fatal four-way match. Are you proud of yourself? Of course I am, man. I am the mastermind. I'm the Vince McMahon without all the sexual uh, <laughs> misconduct stuff because I have a wife I love and who is more than enough for me. True. Oh, nice maneuver by Sheeta. But I mean, it's just what it it's just what it comes down to. You see an opportunity, you seize it, you move forward with it. And that is uh, the world of professional wrestling, folks, and, and business and life. Like we we're talking about on uh, my go home show, you know, like you saw that opportunity post janitorial working uh, in, in a, a coffee factory. To me, from what I've heard and what I believe and what I feel, it's a huge step up for you. It's a much better place for you. I think you feel a lot better. I think you're making more money. I think you're happier. Yeah. So it's uh, it's what we call it's something it's something the Triple H once came up with. It's called evolution. <laughs> nice. Nice baby. Do 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 do. do. Boom. Yeah, knee to the face. Now she's going to the top rope. Yeah. Try to take advantage, maximize. Oh, God damn. Leg drop from the top. Throwing some some boots to the face. Boom. And some and some ache at the end. That's right. That's what Storm does. She gives you the storm of cake. Whew. Ooh. Ooh, the eye of the hurricane, if you will. The eye of the hurricane. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, kick to the guts going for... No, nope. Sheeta reversing. Bam! Man. So don't forget uh, that uh, Sheeta's going into this with a loss, but two victories previous, one of her previous victories over Tony Storm. So she's got a bit of a confidence boost and then a confidence shake. 
Tony Storm knowing that she needs this. She needs she this if she wants to make history as being uh, the first women's Omni War Games champ. Actually, maybe first and only. Are we doing yes. another one next year, or is it just me and you next year? No, we're doing we're doing uh, one more to end season okay. five, and then season six onward is uh, we're strictly doing AEW. Okay. So definitely first, maybe not only, unless she That's wins both. <laughs> so. Looking a. I don't think they've ever busted women up, do they? I think they turn blood off for women matches. Which, like, I understand, but it's also kind of unfortunate. It feels, uh, what do they call it? Inequality? Yeah. Because, I mean, I've watched some, some pretty brutal women's matches in, in real AEW, and I've seen them get busted open. Actually, I think in WWE, too. Like, Becky Lynch got busted open a few times. That's true. Okay, 2K, stop being hypocritical. Let the women bleed. You know they already do. You just don't see it. True. She's looking good right now. She is, man. Top of her game. Boom, on her back, cracking Love it. it. Going for the cover. One, two, no, no Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Pop for Sheep. Absolutely not. Rub. Back in, there you go. And doing what you gotta do. There you go. God damn. Noise. Fight forever! Fight forever! Uh, no, I think they're saying go to SmackDown. Suck my dick, Brock! <laughs> <laughs> uh, boom! Powerbomb! Jesus! No, I know, man. I grew a beard, but that does not make <laughs> me Jesus. I cut my hair short instead of long so that you wouldn't make this mistake all the time. I mean, if you want, I'll be your messiah. I mean, can you be my Friday night messiah? I'll I'll be your Friday night messiah, your Saturday night main event. <laughs> Boom! All this could be it. I'll be your Sunday morning brunch if you like. But you better vote. Damn, Shida. Hikaru Shida getting back that opportunity to become the Omni War Games goddess that she was meant to be. And again, regaining that women's AEW championship like she never lost it. Give her her title. Oh, yeah, that belt is coming her way. Love it. Rafra, Reginald P. Fresh himself, like cousin of Randall P. Fresh Orton. Ooh. You didn't know Randall had a referee cousin named Reginald? I did not. How you do? You've been educated. Do, 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 do. I've been educated. The more you know. Up next in our number two match of eight tonight, we have Energy going one on one against Mercedes Monet. 
to try to take away the TBS title. Uh, and she needs to because uh, that's fucking ridiculous. Well, I mean, if she, if Anna J does not take it away, then uh, Mercedes Monet will be representing my brand in the women's mid card division at Omni War Games and representing your brand in the main event uh, or the main women's division in Omni War Games. It's gonna get crazy. This one is definitely gonna be a. Uh, By the way, that's gonna be a two night games. event, folks. So it's gonna be the women's, uh, the women's and tag. Yeah. Is night one, and night two will be the men's mid card heavyweight and the brand war games match. Yep. I'm looking forward to it. Cover. Cover? I didn't even know her. Hey oh. Hey oh. Just to uh, describe to you the chaos that is the brand war for. Uh, what? Blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. Brand warfare Omni War Games match. It will be a traditional war games match. Four people from. Were one person from each of our teams on one team. Yep. One person from each of our shows on the other team. Yep. In a traditional war games match. And whoever pins the other will be the victor. So it'll kind of be odd if my guy pins my other guy. But it could happen. And when it does, Brock will call a Jericho. I mean, it will be what it will be. Whatever will be, will be. And if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I already said that on one team from mine, it's going to be Christian. And for the other one on my team, on the other side, will be Adam Copeland. You did not tell me that. You're going to have to send that to me. Okay, well, I'll try to remember. But that's what I'm thinking right now. An edged and Christian... Team. Edge versus Christian... Thing, I think would be awesome. And they're not really scheduled in any matches uh, that I can think of. They're not any title holders, so I think it would fit perfectly. Right. I really wish Kenny well, Omega would come back, man. Like, I know he had diverticulitis or something like that, but I'd love to see him back on the, on the TV so I could use him again. He is one of my favorites. He's doing good right now. Yeah, Monet is keeping it separated. Oh, missed it. Boom, Jay making a comeback. Come on now. I'm sure you'd like to come on it now, but uh, we have to wait and see. Ooh, boom! Damn it! The three fucking amigos, baby! If she oh, goes up top course. and gets froggy. Nope, she's just gonna try the cover. One, two, only a two. Going the long way. Sometimes you got to. Boom! Goes nice the dynamite. The you, know, you would think that Mercedes would be exhausted from competing about six hours ago. Well, I mean, she probably is exhausted, but I mean, when you're all hyped up on adrenaline and uh, potentially really good cocaine, you never know what you're <laughs> capable of. The good booger sugar. That's what I'm saying. Hey, man, when your cousin is Snoop Dogg, not only do you have access right. to good weed, but there's oh, other things, God. too. <laughs> Has he brought that up since joining uh, AEW? I don't think I've heard, because I think Snoop Dogg is still like a WWE oh, okay, gotcha. guy. You know? he did, I think he did one intro with his cousin. 
the first time she was on AEW, and then WWE like offered him a bunch of money to do that spot where where Shane McMahon blew out his legs. Yeah, like his dad did. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe yeah, right? that. Let's talk about shitty genetics. That's right, Vince. You have shitty genetics. Hey, name right. You're both positive. Right. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. Is this a false count anywhere? It is too, I think. What? Where are you going? How can you even see it? Oh my god, that would have been three. Oh, going for it. Choking her out. Ref! You need to see the fucking... It's like I got a little monitor on my watch. I don't need to actually see. <laughs> That's ridiculous. If Mercedes tapped, the ref wouldn't. That's fucking ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Boom! Ooh. Oh! Mercedes missed it. She went in for the bank statement and she missed it. Going for the cover. One, two, only a two count. Pick her up. Hit her high, hit her high, hit her high, hit her low, hit her low, hit her low. Damn. Yup. Oh, come on. A kick to the box. There you go. And a J. Locking it in. Oh, fuck. Mercedes able to get out of it right quick. Rolling her up. Going for that cover. One, two, only a two count. Of course. What I find incredible is how quickly Mercedes is able to switch gimmicks from your show to my show. No, I think that she. I I think she wore that same gear. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, did she? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I did not see that gear on 2K24. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, you know, you know, DRG does whatever he needs to. Okay, if you can figure happen. it, if you can figure it out, figure it out. <laughs> Or rather, I should say, if you figured it out, you figured it out. Exactly. Oh, knee to the back. Nice. Huge chops gonna whoop, boom, there it is, folks. Oh, yeah. Verta breaker. Nope. Only a two count, man. That fucking uh and the J has such intestinal fortitude. True. There you go. That'll work the neck. You got to. I mean, but with, with, no, no, I understand both these women aren't like massively strong like China and Rhea Ripley, but they're also not short and fast like that of Rey Mysterio, blah, blah, blah. So in my mind, these both are evenly matched in size, strength, and speed. So what do you focus on if you're going after the champion, if you're, Mer if you're Anna J? Well, I think in both cases, just because both of them are submission specialists and they, their their sub moves focus on the neck and head, that's really where you got to put your focus. And like you said, they're very evenly matched. They both got very similar uh, target areas. To, oh, here yep. we go! Oh, the muff diver! One, two, three! Gotta love the muff diver.
Do you just hate me? No, we, we can call it the vegetarian if you want. <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> if uh, if that was a job? Your uh, if you, if your if your daughter my job was to come up with wrestling maneuvers that look like you're eating her out. Uh, yeah, that would that would be my, my dream job. If your daughter did in fact bring a boy home that she liked or whatever. And you were like, all right, we'll sit down and talk with him. So you invite him over for, for, for pizza, for dinner, whatever. And you ask him, so what do you do for a living? And he goes, oh, I'm a vegetarian. Like, well, in, in, in my case, my daughter is a vegetarian. So <laughs> <laughs> it would be a bit of a different conversation. But what do you, but what does one say to a boy that says that to them when they ask what they do for a living? If it was a boy, I would knock him out. If it was a girl, I'd go, noise. <laughs> <laughs> noise. <laughs> God damn it. We're, we're, I'm just saying, that's like me personally. I don't know if everybody would react that way, but. And that's the. End. I hate to bring it up again, but that's the other reason why I bring up voting, folks, because. One side is pro-gay and one side is very anti-gay. So if you have any family members that you care about that are gay, there's really only one direction to go. And like I said, it sucks. There's no one good choice. It's always a lesser of two evils. Right. So pick the lesser. Put your put your weight behind the lesser. Until you guys can get to the point like us where we have more than two political parties. You guys have red or blue, and that's it. Go this way or go that way. Very frustrating. We have like four different political parties. We've got liberals, conservatives, what we call NDP, which is the new Democratic Party, which is like the middle guys. And then the Green Party, which is the hippies. Right. Or independent, they call them. But I mean, when you, when your choice is a 50-50, always go with the lesser of two evils. When your choice is more expansive, then put your weight behind the, the party that actually stands closest to the things that you believe in. But always stand with somebody, always vote for somebody. Because when you don't vote, you don't have a right to bitch. And I love bitching. I love bitching and complaining. Who does? Yeah, you've watched the seasons. You know. <laughs> That's half my raison d'etre. True. All right, so I don't think you did a proper introduction for this match. What are we looking at? We are looking at a uh, Extreme Rules Tornado Tag Match between 2.0 and Orangehausen for the AEW Tag Team Champs. Love it. Love it or list it, baby. Have you ever seen the Mighty Boosh? Yes. Have you ever heard of the character Old Greg? Yes, of course. <laughs> I got a mangina. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Uh, I love British comedy. Of course. Of course. Oh, God damn. Here we go. Orange Housing, or Orange uh, Dan Housing, setting up that ladder. You know what that means. He Someone's who sets it gets it. Yeah. Oh, 2.0. Making that cut. Oh, never mind. Well, we still have an Angelo uh, Parker on the outside working on Danhausen, but uh, Orange Cassidy has Matt Menard's number. Working that knee. You got to take out that vertical base. I convinced my wife today. We'd been saving up some money and stuff, and she's going to yeah. be going on a trip soon. I convinced her to get 
a rogue ally. It's that Ooh. little handheld device I showed you. Yeah. So it's like a switch, but it's also a computer. So she can play the video game she wants while she's gone. So she made the purchase tonight. It should be here by Wednesday. I got her all the accessories and stuff, and I'm like, I I really hope she likes it as much as I do. You know, I want it to be something that she likes and that she plays with, and she doesn't hold any regrets. But I was like, you know what, YOLO, baby. <laughs> you only live once. You're going on vacation. Yep. You like to play video games, so fuck it. Whoop! Boom! Dan House. Oh my god! Matt Menard spazzing out like a paraplegic at a jumping bean competition. I'll give him that. Oh, here we go. Trying to wrap up Dan Housen. Boom! Slamming his face into the canvas. Stomping on his leg. Drop kicking his face, but Dan Housen's like, I don't feel shit, boy. I am evil. And very nice. And very nice. Orange. Bam! Nerd fight back. back in the ring. Boom. Bam. Love it. Oh, <laughs> Daniel's getting choked out by Parker. Parker going for the cover. One. Two. Oh, only a two count. Oh, nice. Nice. But wearing them down. Oh, punch to the face. Sweep Inside. the leg, yep. Johnny. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's take it, let's take it, let's be smart. Here we go, sharp shooter it. Sharp shooter in it. The ref's watching, waiting. Sharp. Orange. Sharp. Them a it. It. Cover. Chop, Orange chop, it. miss. Orange, you're in jeans much like they are. You're on the same team. <laughs> well, no, they've got white jeans. He's got blue jeans. They're totally different. Um, uh, tomato, tomato. No, 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 no. White jeans are, like, stupid because you spill shit on there, there's stains. Blue jeans, well, if it gets stained, you just, like, throw some other shit on it and make it acid wash. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, God damn it! Come on. All right, we're dominating right now. You know what you got to do, bro. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's not, <laughs> let's not bring it up to the universe. As long as the universe doesn't know what we're talking about, the universe doesn't ask questions. So we keep it, we keep it, like we just, we just act. You gotta you know, keep when they it do separated. When they do something impressive, you just go, oh, nice. We don't get overexcited. But when the other team does great, we go, yeah, oh yeah, great, great, great. But we don't be, we don't show the universe we're overly excited because they're We think, good. we think the action is great, not who made the action exactly. or what specific team was on one side we or the other of it. We congratulate the superheroes that they are, and we just leave it at that. I'm going to tell you this right now, just because I haven't seen Dan Housen on AEW television in quite some time, that season oh, five... No. No, no, no. Season oh. five, I'm not going to be featuring Dan Housen unless he's on television. No. Oh, no. See, folks, he's trying to do the negative thing like I was <laughs> suggesting. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Orange isn't really doing anything as Dan Housen's left out to uh, fend for himself. Orange will still be used because he is constantly on television, but you might see a little bit of an adjustment to how this is because there's this new team out there. It's it's such a stupid name, but I, it's part of why I like it. It's called the Conglomeration, and it's Orange Cassie. It's a... Uh, uh, Mark uh, Briscoe and 
who's the other guy? Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, damn. So we may see some... What the fuck, Dan Housen? He's tapping into some uh, méchant voodoo. I heard he harm evil and good. Very evil, very nice. Oh, orange. Tossed outside. Menard gets the bat. Yep. Parker getting it. Oh, no, never mind. Parker. Oh. Boom. Oh. Parker and Menard Love getting that. their asses fucking handed to them. But Parker kipped up, oh. taking down. Oh, never mind. I thought he was taking down Orange, but Orange took down Parker. Huge suplex from Menard. Stalling suplex. Menard taking Orange down on... Boom! The floor. I thought he was going to go on the steel ramp, but nope. Menard picking up Dor Danhausen. Slamming him down. Parker trying to recover on the outside. Menard taking... Danhausen to the steps. Danhausen twirling him around like a baton. Like a dance partner in a weird ballet of sorts. A dance macabre, if you will. Looking for something under their plane out in a ladder. Oh god. Trying to set that up in between. The ring and the barrier. It looks like it's oh, working. Oh, boom! Bingo. Takes a bat to the face. Oh, boom! Jesus Christ. Orange taking down Parker. Okay, okay. Don't focus on Danhausen. Don't focus on Danhausen. Don't focus on Danhausen. Parker getting covered. One. I knew it. You son of two. a bitch. Two. Only oh, two. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. No, he did not get dropped on the ladder like I thought he might. Well, Parker, is he looking to fly? Nope. Jesus, Danhouse is beating the shit out of Menard. Oh, Orange, one, two, three. Orange Cassidy winning for Orange Housing. So, Orange Housen will be representing AEW in all new war games. I mean, great job, Universe. Great choice. Wow. That's very reserved from you, Brock. Very reserved. I expected more negativity, but thank you very nope. much for that. Universe made a great point in <laughs> Orange House and Can you can you like no not speak through your fucking teeth? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, universe fucked me on the world title, you know. Uh why does all Why would the universe your... do anything different? <laughs> Cause Jericho controls the universe. That's fucking what I guess, it is. Well he's a demo god, right? I knew it. I knew it. And Same. he is the giving tree, so he is the giver. The he learning the tree. Oh. He's not the giver. You learn from him. Yeah, he gives pieces of shit. No, that's what you give every Friday night on SmackDown. But I digress. Next up, we have uh, Konosuke Takeshita going one-on-one -on -one against Will Ospreay for that international championship. Is this the mid card title or no? No. I have two alternate men's titles that are not what I would consider the mid card. Okay. Okay. TNT title is a mid card title. So after this, we have uh, Jay White versus uh, Okada for his not mid card title. Then we have Jericho versus Danhausen. Because Danhausen gets a chance to try to take back his title that he lost against Jericho two weeks ago. So, at Omni War Games, we're either going to see Danhausen 
having taken back that title going into Omni War Games, or Chris Jericho doing double duty as uh, oh, men's mid card and. Well, I mean, that's the other thing you have to keep in mind, too. Tonight, Jericho is doing double duty. He's do true. defending the TNT title and the World Heavyweight Champion. So it's possible he might not even go to the show at all. It's possible he might only get one of the two titles that he's holding tonight to move forward with. It, it's possible he'll get both. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, backbreaker. Oh. Holy shit, we're only at 35 minutes of an hour and a half show. You're damn right. There we go. Oh, apologies for the delay. I needed to get myself another beer. Oh, well, duh. Well, three beers and three or four bourbon shots equals a good old time. Equals the best of times. Better watch out for that table. And though. also the worst of times. Gosh. It's like a tale of two cities. Or what I prefer, a tale of two titties. You're damn right. You're goddamn right. All right, I'm not allowed any more bourbon tonight. That's my last bourbon. If you hear the cork pop, stop me. And then Brock's like, how am I supposed to stop you? <laughs> it's nowhere near you. If I don't leave now, I can do it. It's only like six hours. I think. It's fine. Oh, Holy shit. Right through the wood. Yes. Will Ospreay retains. Yes. This is awesome, they say. Um, it was awesome. It was very short, but it was awesome. Here is your winner, and still Alliance International. Nice. Well, hey, Osprey deserved it. It was great. A little bit of aggression there. Put the female ref, man. Well, he didn't push her out. Just like True. he told her to back off. Don't touch my fucking belt, lady. You're not trying to hold this title belt. Looks good, though, man. It does. That international title is very, very flashy. They say lackluster, but this isn't SmackDown, so don't worry. We've got more shit no. going on. The Continental title. That's what Okada's holding right now. So, uh, Okada... It's going one on one against Jay White for the Continental title. Then it's Chris Jericho for the TNT title against Danhausen. Then's our eight man ladder match. And then the finale is Samoa Joe cashing in his uh, his ill begotten Royal Rumble win to try to take away Jericho's EW World title and represent. AEW at Omni War Games. Love it. Boom! Nice. Dropping it. It's like nice. I'm going to put it out here tonight, too, that the night of Omni War Games, there's going to be one extra special match. It's just going to be four of my guys against four of yours. 
and then Ooh. a War Games match that I will post on my channel. So Love it. Send me four people that you want to against four of mine, and I will record that um, in advance. I want Bob Holly, Kazarni, Pedro. Oh, fuck off. Fuck and off. Kazarni hasn't Arnie? even been on any of your shows lately. Hardcore Holly, Kazarni, Pedro. No, 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 no. Don't just and don't just say a bunch of bullshit on my show. He's on he, he's on Raw in the Intercontinental Division. Not on Raw. It has to be a SmackDown guy. Oh, SmackDown exactly. versus AEW. It's SmackDown versus AEW. Not all the <laughs> universes you fucking can run. Come on, I run one. You run five. <laughs> it's like, it's, where's the fairness in that? And don't worry, Jericho will not be one of my guys. All fair and love and war, brother. Not quite. I mean, there are a lot of unfair wars out there. I mean, there are. I'm sure a lot of people in Ukraine would tell you. That's true. Nice. Dropkick. Putting him to the outside. Okada, the Rainmaker, looking to make a name for himself here tonight. Twist and shout, baby. Ugh. Nice. Nice baby. Dun, 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 dun. Okada in the corner. Nobody puts Okada in the corner. Beautiful. Breaks out. Beautiful. Over the cover. One, two, only a two. -point. No Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Pop. Get my volume. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ruh. Ruh. Here we go. Here we go. A little Randy DDT. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and an elbow. Oh, here we go. Boom. Oh. Kicking him in a, while a man is down. Putting him back in the ring. Taking his time. Taking a breather. You go roll him over. <sighs> Boom! Kick to the face. There you go. 
That's how long was it? He's calling for it. Bam! Goes for the cover right after the switchblade. God damn! Jay White is our new Continental Champion. Doesn't mean anything for Omni War Games, but it definitely means something for AEW. Yes, it does. I believe if I'm looking at my notes correctly, it's a pattern right now. Sheena, new champion, Monet retained. Uh, never mind. I, I, I thought I, my, my notes were backwards. I was going to say it's bouncing back and forth. Because the way my notes looked for a quick second, it looked like new champion retaining, new champion retaining, new champion. But it's Shida new champion, Monet retaining, Orangehausen retaining, Osprey retaining, and White new champion. So it seems like we're two for we're two for five in new champions right now. God damn, two for four. No, two for five. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yes, Shida, Monet, Orangehausen, Osprey. Okada, that's five. Yeah. Oh, hey, looks good anyway. Jesus Christ. And here we go. Dan has to try to get his belt back from uh, Chris Jericho. So just like last week, or not last week, the week before last, I have to ask you, who do you want? I hate everything. If I could be silent this whole match, I would. Also, not sure if you noticed, like, when Jay White won, he tossed the lady ref out of the ring. Really? Yeah. Just like, get the fuck out and toss her. God damn. See, my my superstars don't show disrespect. Most of mine don't, but Jay White's very special. He's very special. Yep. I'm politically correct. Very special. Your hands are really deep. Hands are rated E for everybody. <laughs> God damn it. Spilt a little bit of bourbon. That sucks. <laughs> this bourbon is too good to waste. Ugh. No sense in crying over spilled rope. Spilled yeah, I don't cry over it, but thank God there's no cameras here to watch me sucking it off my desk. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just say that? No, that, I mean, like, whatever. Uh, I don't it. care. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wasting. That's the, that's all that matters. In this economy? Seriously, man. It's 45 bucks a bottle. Oh. Jericho needs to get tired. That's what needs to happen. Get well, tired? This is his first match. If he gets tired here, then he's really fucked for the main event. What? What is your idea? Do you want Jericho to lose both his matches so that he doesn't represent AEW at all? I think Jericho needs to get injured, and Monet needs to get injured so she can drop the title. And... <laughs> Well, Monet's not going to get... Oh, nice! I don't think Monet is going to get injured. Jericho also, he's a workhorse. I don't think he's going to get injured. I don't know if he'll retain both titles, but... Uh, he will fight for it. He will fight, if I dare say, forever. He will fight for the right to party. <laughs> you pick him up. Nice. And getting back in that little ring. Oh, God. Ooh, nice. Ow. Nice. So, out of the two of these two, you prefer Dinhouse. <laughs> I prefer the lights to go out in Georgia. That's what I do. 
But if you if it was the arm if it was Armageddon, and you were like one of these two will push the button, who would you choose? Um. Day. You have no other choice. It's one or the other. Dan Housen or guy Jericho. To, Which one would you choose? I want a young guy to thrive, so I guess fucking oh, Dan Housen. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I hate everything. I hate everything. Jericho's done great things, but Dan Housen needs to... Piece of shit. You're going to fucking throw my guy under the bus. I'm just saying. It's, 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 it's time for young talent to get over. Uh. And... Oh, Jared! Oh, nice. Come up. Boom! No. Code breaker. Beep, 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 beep. Go for the cover, Jericho. Go for the cover, Jericho. He wants to do that fucking dumbass. Boom! Oh, he missed it. You called it a. Oh, he got it! Yeah! Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You call it a oh. dumbass move, man. You shouldn't have done that. That's right. This crowd is not worthy of this level of a match. God. <laughs> Fuck it. Dan Housen, man, is like a master of recovery. True. Boom. Boom. Oh, Jericho fight it out, fought out. I'm drilling him in the knee. Yep. Can I do it? We have to really count out victory. Nobody wins. Everyone loses. True. Nice. You're telling me you would rather see Dan Housen go up against all of your number or your number or your mid card men rather than Jericho doing double duty? Well, I want a young guy to go over, become champion, do his thing, but then the you only know, so I would want Jericho is so I could watch fucking a, 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 a gimmick. Take out Jericho. All right, who's, who's in the mid card right now for uh, Omni War Games? Uh, Jack Swagger, if I remember correctly. Jack Swagger from SmackDown. Who's from Raw? Uh, Raw is Muhammad Hassan. Who's from uh, Ring of Honor? Uh, Ring of Honor is pure champion, I believe, Bandito. Ooh. So those three guys, you would rather see Dan House and a younger, fresher talent. Well, no, I, I think I could get agree with that. Oh, very close. I mean, although I might put it the TV champion Priest for Ring of Honor. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Actually, that could be interesting. Priest versus Danhausen or Priest versus uh, Chris Jericho. I think either one of those could be a winner. That's true. Oh, nice. I know, Jesus. man. I only speak the truth. You're only <laughs> uh, uh, na just now realizing that? 
I've neglected it. Like you do. Yeah, that's, why, do. that's why you should vote. You're neglecting it. It's true. Yep. Listen, folks. Folks, one thing we learned tonight, and hopefully something of Top Rock tonight, is even if you don't give a fuck, vote. Vote for the lesser of the two evils. True. Because if you don't vote, and then you tell me, Oh, ma, 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 this sucks. I'm going to tell you, did you vote? And you're going to say, no. I'm going to tell you, fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. You know what? Take that big fucking splintery 2x4. Or no, not even a 2x4. That's too smooth. Go out and find that splintery fucking brick. Uh, like a cement brick that's all broken and shardy. And shove it up your ass and pull it out. Shove it up. Pull it out. Shove it up multiple times really fast until you shred your anus. <laughs> I'm going way further than I need to. <laughs> <laughs> and how's my ticket? Dan, House, Dan House and his tribe. Anyway, you know where I'm going with that. You don't have a reason to bitch. If you want to bitch, <laughs> go out and vote. Even if you vote the wrong way, at least you put in your piece. But don't vote the wrong way unless you're a piece of shit. Thank you. Shit. I'm Jam Saw, and I approve this message. <laughs> I'm a bitch. Boom! Goes the dynamite. By the time this airs, I think the vote will be over, so you won't even... <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, it entertained me, and I would like to think that hopefully I influenced five people. If I made five people that weren't going to vote go out and vote, and hopefully the right way, then I did my service as a human being. Boom! One, two, only a two oh, count. Yeah. And like, just to go back to what you said earlier about uh, the one thing that you mentioned that Trump said that meant something to you. Kamala as a vice president didn't get stuff done that she wanted to do as a president. You know... I don't know if you've ever had a supervisor and you've talked to your supervisor and said, hey, I got some good ideas. You should do this and that. And they're like, shut up. Ah, true. <laughs> I've been true. in many situations like that where I'm like, hey, we could do this and that. We would save like this much time and this would be much better. And they're like, no. Nah. Or even worse, they're like, that's a great idea. And then they go and say something and then they get promoted. I don't. <laughs> That's true. That is a not a valid enough ex uh, excuse to, uh, to to go in that direction. But when you see someone that says the shit that he does, that uh, I don't know the debate. If you watch just the highlights of the debate from the Daily Show, and like a lot of the excuses that. To the, Republican said it's like so and so is too old. Trump is like seventy eight. That's too old to make fucking decisions for everybody. Let's keep people yeah. in the fifties. You know, keep people in the fifties making those decisions. And of course, like as a liberal father who has a alternative lifestyle daughter. I'm not saying you have to vote Kamala. I hope that you vote Kamala just... And like I said, I don't believe in everything that she stands for, but I believe in more of what she stands for than the alternative. And I mean, like, I haven't heard her bald face fucking lie. Or when someone asks a question, just babble until people forget what the fucking question was. Anyway... Sorry, don't mean to diatribe. You guys already voted, and this is coming out after Halloween, so it's probably too late. But, and Dan Housen, like you wanted, the young guy, moving on to all new war games, so we're going to be seeing 
Danhausen going up against all your mid car champs and all new war games. Here is your winner and new total national television champion Dan Haas and you got down right. Moving on to a massive ladder match. Oh, yeah, I'm in an eight man ladder match. So, we are going to be seeing Adam Cole, MJF, Jack Perry, Christian Cage, Hook, um, Swerve Strickland, Adam Hangman Page, and John Moxley. Beautiful. You're goddamn right. I'll give you that as an extra. Because you already had your two. Plus the the extra that I gave you because of my diatribe. No, that was last show. Never mind. Now this is gonna be pure chaos, honestly, oh, just course. because there's eight men. I'm going to let you call for a minute or two just so I can run and take a pee. And I will be right back. And I know he's going to do some bullshit, folks, where he's going to go, hey, now that so-and-so is gone, we're going to talk about the bloody butt. Fuck off, you wouldn't do that. I would never Go do ahead that. and do that. Promote your shit. That is what this is for. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we see an amazing match ahead of us with amazing talent. Uh, it's uh, a ladder match that was uh, created uh, by Jericho. Tense uh, briefcase match. Anyway, since uh, Jericho's down, fuck that shit. Watch SmackDown. Watch Raw. It's a great time. Um, you know, uh, but you guys need to tell me when he comes back because uh, we can't chance anything. I'm saying, ooh, what are you going to do? We can't chance that. So we're gonna watch this great, uh, this great match right now, and we're gonna talk about how amazing everything is. But the, ooh, damn! Good God! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all being safe. We're all being safe. updating my notes real quick people there we go yeah nasty god damn Nice chop, and Bayf looking good. It would look better on SmackDown Blue, if you know what I mean. Ooh, nice swerve. Nasty hook, Jesus Christ. Ooh, nah, it's using Kendo, beautiful games, damn it. Shoulder Buster, good God, and yep, Swerve has it. On 2K20, yeah, in 2K24, yeah, I'm using 24. In 2K24, uh, there's only like, I believe, five notches, not six. <laughs> yep, they're just focusing on each other on the top, and Jeff! God, nasty, and it falls on Swerve, of course, buffed his back. Nobody gives a shit. Moxley! Paul Virgil, I mean, <laughs> Jack Perry. Oh shit. God damn it! 
Uh, I, I guess what, uh, what we're going to discuss when he gets back is who we want to win. I guess my top three for winning this in no particular order, I'm going to have to go with MJF, Hook, or Cage. I think that would be uh, fucking phenomenal. God damn, that's guys... pretty close to my decision. I was going to say Adam Cole, MJF, or Christian Cage. Give them, give them a nice push for season five. Indeed. Because obviously all next month to prep us for the Army War Games, we're going to focus on our champions or like you did last year where you gave your champions the month off. Um, well, the champs are going to have the month off, but I want to like put a lot of people through their paces. Yeah. But I mean, the one thing I want as a clear, you don't have to even like fight for is that main spot. Who's going to be yep. that number one contender going into next season? That's what this match is all about. That's what I figured it was. Yep. Looking Christian setting up that ladder. Ooh, God damn. damn. <laughs> it's like that match. He's, there's, there's like an aura of power around Adam Cole. But yeah, Adam Cole, Christian Cage, MGF, those are my top three. Although, I I also wouldn't mind seeing uh, uh, Oh, Sorry, I'm yawning. John Moxley, just because of uh, what he's doing right now in the real AEW. He's uh, coming in like a being of chaos. And he's leading the Blackpool Combat Club into the future of AEW. Yeah, John Moxley's a wild card for me. Goddamn right. He's not alone. He leads a stable of other wild cards. There you go. Oh, over the rope. That suitcase is looking relatively fucking bent. Did you ever get into, like, Call of Duty at all? No. I know you did some, like, Rainbow Six and shit. Yeah, Rainbow Six, yeah. I, I, I was a... I think at the height, I was, like, a Tom Clancy fan back when uh, it was, like, PS1 or PS2 where you, it was uh, a Splinter Cell where you did oh, yeah. just the story. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that that's when I got into it. But then I... Last, like, shooter game I truly played was Black for the PS2. Ooh, good one. Yeah, but after that, I, I stopped playing shooters. What about Destiny? No, no, I tr I, I, I gave it a shot, but it wasn't wasn't my thing. I got into Destiny a bit, but you kind of like it. Like the one thing I didn't like, it was one of those things where the people that I played with were like, "You gotta play every day. You gotta do your yeah. dailies. You gotta get this." And I'm like, man, I just I just want to have a game where I have fun and shoot people with my friends. Yep. Yeah. You go hook. Watch the ladder. Oh. Bam. Ooh, you're nasty. Oh, onto the ladder. Ooh, of you're going to jump? going to jump? Oh, he went the other way. That would have made so much sense. Oh. Come Oh. I thought it would have been cool if you could get two people on top. Moxley climbing with purpose. Steady and slow like the fucking tortoise. Goes for the grab but gets hit in the ass by Jack Perry. And now because of this cutscene, can't see shit. Here we go. I think on uh, 2K24, I'm going to turn off cutscenes just so that it doesn't interrupt what we're seeing in the middle of the ring. Right. Christian? <laughs> Never mind. God damn. Oh, good job, Christian. Boom! Takes him down. Huge kick from Hangman. Oh, drop kick missed. Oh, 
Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Snake eyes to Christian. Beautiful. Pick him up. Moxley nice. working there you on go. Adam Cole. I'm gonna flip him back into the ring while MGF working on the scapegoat. Christian and MGF locking up, but nope, too much chaos. Hangman looking to do some damage to Adam Cole. Oh, that takes him out. Christian putting up that fucking ladder. Scapegoat in the ring with him. Christian Cage, unlike your dad, who's going places. That's true. Damn true. One. Five and more. Oh. Watch the ladder. Bam! On the corner of the ladder. Oh, nasty, 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 nasty. Scapegoat putting it up. Trying to go one on one with Christian Cage, knocking him down. Going up those steps. Trying to take advantage. Trying to capitalize. Not even able to get one. Adam Cole and MJF. Oh! Unable to fucking get along long enough to try to take people down, but it doesn't matter. Christian got knocked down too. Yep. Ugh. Death Rider from John Moxley on Christian. Christian ruling out. Hook getting taken task by Swerve Strickland. Moxley getting involved. Another Death Rider. Boom! On Swerve. Now working on Adam Cole. Moxley working on Perry. Adam Page working on MGF. Moxley fights out, takes down Perry. Christian getting swept by Hook. MGF taken down by Hangman Page. Moxley on the outside with Adam Cole. Yep. Page throwing MGF out, getting knocked out by Swerve. The only one in the ring right now is the Black Sheep, Jack Perry, who is stunned, <laughs> taken out by Moxley. Oh my god. Now we have Paige working on Cole. Cole out of the picture. Paige going after him. Cage, not restricted, grabbing that, ta that chair. Trying to take out Strickland and Perry, unable to. Page taking out Cole. Holy fuck, man. I'm gonna get tongue tied. <laughs> Chaos ensues all over the place. Hook putting a ladder up in the corner. Perry getting thrown onto that ladder on the outside. Page taking out Hook. All right. Cage taking out Cage. Nope. Cage gets out of it. MGF gets hit by Cage. Page being attacked by Mox, but reversing. MGF looking for a stalling standing suplex on Cage right on the ladder. Boom! Moxley working on MGF. Jack Perry working with Swerve. Cage on the outside. Yep. Cage getting back in, taking out Mox, rolling out while MJF is working with Perry. Cole toss out hook, looking to set up that ladder. Nope. There you go. Nice reversal. And Page back in, takes out MJF. 
Scapegoat Jack Perry is hanging on the ropes. Oh, MJF thrown out on the ladder. Hook working on Jack Perry on the ropes. Hangman climbing. Perry gets tossed by Hook. Hook looking to stop Adam Page climbing that ladder. God damn! Both men hitting the canvas, but Hook getting back up. Going up, climbing those steps. Ton of folks on the outside, not paying attention to what's going on in the ring. Two, three. Nice. Three rungs. Boom! Cole taking down. Bam! Swerve taking down. Whoop! There goes MGF to the outside. Christian, oh, Jesus. hangman ran on the ladder. Bam, Moxley looking to set up the ladder and he's like, nope, I'm gonna take Christian out with a knee. Yep. Cole back in the mix. Looking to work on hangman, Adam Page. Moxley working swerve with the chair until MJF comes in. We got Cole throwing Christian to the corner of the ropes. Huge kill. Oh, here we go. Panama Sunrise. Is he going to get it right on Swerve? Boom! And a chair. Christian. <laughs> it's like comatose on the outside. Oh, here we go. Oh, Moxley taking out Swerve. Cole taking out Moxley. And ever uh, Perry just hanging out on the outside going, I don't know what to do. I was just gonna stay out of the way. Jumps back in, takes out Hook. Page. Page going back to the outside to work on Mox. Swerve working on Cole. Perry going after Perry going after Hook? Yeah, it's Hook. Oh, MJF taking down Adam Cole. Swerve coming back in, misses the kick. Yep. Cole, boom. Christian taking out Hook on the outside. Running back into the ring. Uh oh, damn. Moxley taking out Paige on the outside. Swerve getting MJF out of the mix. Gonna set up the ladder. No, nope, hits Mox nice. with it. Sets up the ladder. Christian grabbing Swerve, you throwing him you. out. Going upstairs. Case, jump, jump, jump. Nope. Oh. Moxley pulls him down. Moxley knew he wasn't jumping. Not at his age. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ash did it. Yeah. Well, Christian's smarter. He's what we call more cerebral. <laughs> no, touche. It's like, why should I do it when I can get Nick Cage or Luchasaurus to do it for me? It's true. Look at that stack of chairs and fucking ladders in there. Oh, the drop damn. Boom, atomic. Trying to bust open hook. Oh, swerve me. Adam Cole saying, Adam Cole, baby. Working on MGF. Gonna met oh, he could have pan him on it, but he didn't because of swerve. Hook tossed down by Paige. MJF thrown into the ladder by Swerve. Swerve being taken down by Cole. Paige taking Swerve. 
on another journey to another fucking dimension. Cole yeah. on the ropes. Focus on him. No, nope, never mind. Nope. Of course. Hook is all confused, working with Paige. Paige and Hook, while Cole is trying to recover. MJF throwing his two cents in. Boom! Unprettier by Christian on Jack Perry. MJF taking Christian to the ropes but unable to capitalize. Adam Page somehow picked up by Christian. Boom! Thrown out. Adam Cole and Swerve fighting over right. Oh. Does not land on the ladder. Hook with the kendo. Christian nope. Spear. Christian Spear. I'm gonna set that ladder up. Be smart. Everyone's fighting on the outside. Christian's going to modify that ladder. Try to get it in a good spot. Good spot. Going for the climb. Everyone on the outside is super busy. Everyone else is comatose. Grabbing that thing. Another rung. Another rung. Yes. And one more rung. One more rung. Yes. Christian Cage. Wow. Has that money in the bank contract. And will face... Our AEW champ in week one of season five. Damn, I like it. I like it too, man. That's why I booked it. And this is our this was our co-main event, folks. So the only thing left is our main main event, Chris Jericho, who yeah. has lost his TNT championship to Dan Housen will now be facing a bunch of people for that mid-card Omni War Games Championship now yep. has one last chance to be involved in a history-making event Omni War Games main event Chris Jericho Smojo one-on-one -on -one for that AEW World Championship Locking up real quick. Joe doing a uh, chicken wing fucking suplex. Yep. Jericho fighting out, but not quite enough to overpower Joe. Joe taking him to the corner. Snake eyes. Joe gets out looking for a weapon. Chair to the face of Jericho. Chair to the back and knees yes. and head of Jericho. Yes. Yes. Jericho fighting back. Seeing, uh uh. I ain't going out like that. Joe tossing him to the corner or to the to the barrier. Trying to use that barrier as a weapon against him. Yeah, yeah said that lady. Oh, she said raw. No, uh, she said condoms so you don't have children. Mm, Touche. Not you in particular, I just mean other people. <laughs> She's an anti uh, progenity, pro pro whatever that, procreator. Boom! Dropkick nice. taking some mojo down. Scary. Joe with a little tap to the face himself. Chris Jericho knows he cannot let this opportunity go to waste. He's already wasted one. He cannot waste them both. True. Samojo wasting or er, throwing out his opportunity. The one opportunity he gleaned from the deal with Bailey. He 
Because if not for this, he would have not had another another uh, number one true. contendership. Boom! Just for the cover. One, two, three. No, damn it. Ooh. The count's so slow in this game. Mer. Hockey stick. Bam. Yep. Bam. Welcome to Canada, bitch. Like a true Canadian. You got damn right. Oh, snake eyes. Oh, oh, oh. Rubbing the gum off his shoes right on your face. Ooh. Oh, and a bridge. Hey, man, his feet are on the ropes. That ref was not paying attention, and the feet were on the ropes. Damn. There you go. Boom! Okay. Joe it has been knocked the fuck out. Oh, Jericho's not satisfied, wants to hit some hockey on it. That's true. A little Canadiana on it. Joe! Oh, nice. Jericho blocks it. Throws some punches and kicks. Drag him away from the ropes. Does not have time to go for a cover, but will. Go for a Walls of Jericho. Shit, shit, Joe, Joe, you're better than this. Joe, you're better than this. You're better than this. You're the submission specialist. Get out of this. Don't fuck this up. Oh, my God. Boom! Tosses him out. Jericho caught up on the ropes. Throws him. Boom! Judas Effect goes for the cover. One... To who only a two no tootsie oh, roll tootsie pass for Jericho. But Jericho channeling his inner Paul Bear ears. I will go for the full walls of Jericho, not just the lion tamer. And Joe oh, is tapping out like the little God. bitch he is. Of course. Oh, of course it's fucking Jericho. God damn it. He should have known, damn man. It. He was born in the dark. I hate everything. What a shitty way to end our WrestleMania weekend. What's with everything else that happened? We got some balance. At least he's not representing two things. Like Mercedes Monet is. That's ridiculous. Just saying. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching Revolution Jericho taking home the title like he will again at Omni War Games. I am the Jam Sub. With me as always, Brock Redhead. Check out his channel. Not just the wrestling content, tons of gaming content. Check out his VR shit too. It's really cool. I am Jam Sub. He is Brock Redhead. As always, phenomenal. Peace. Peace.